she smacks me. Yeah, it's like she smacks me across like my head on this side because she was like right in front of me and the ramp. Hey ladies, welcome back to another video. So this is another story time about my first fight. Yes, and of course, this is gonna be a get ready with me. I saw that you guys liked my previous video with my story time. If you guys haven't seen that yet, go back a video. Crazy story time about how I got fired like a couple days ago. <laughs> Okay, ladies, so let's get started with this video. First of all, I'm gonna be pouring some soda because I get thirsty. I try to shake the ice, but it's stuck. So I like to chew ice before I get to the story. I like to chew ice a lot, which is not really good for me, but listen to it, listen to it. Little ASMR moment. I'm just kidding. So I like to chew ice because I have anxiety. <laughs> Let me tell you the tea about my first fight. Let's call let's call this girl that I got into a fight with for the first time. She was my best friend, you guys. Like, yeah, she was my best friend. Let's call this girl braces. Because she had braces. There's nothing wrong with braces, but I mean that's just a good nickname. So me and Braces were close since elementary school and me and her always had like issues all the time. Like she she just, she lied a lot. She lied a lot. Um, I'm not going to say obviously any names, you guys know. I mean, if you guys end up seeing these people comment in the comments, oh well. <laughs> Sorry, I hurt your feelings, bro. This is like middle school, elementary school drama, like let it go. <laughs> so anyways, this girl, Braces was my best friend for a while and we were in middle school at, during the time this is when I got into my first fight so we were in middle school and me and her used to get bullied like yeah like I was never the fighting type back then and and neither was she like we used to just you know chill hang out and stuff so we were never like the fighting type or anything and these girls used to always mess with us and I don't know if it's because we were like we were like the shortest ones there, like we were small. So I don't know if that's the reason why they would mess with us because we we were easy, I guess, to like beat up or something. Not that they ever did, but um, I guess, well, to her they did actually beat her up, but that's another story, <laughs> which was sad. I guess she used to go back and forth. I, I don't know if she did it to like fit in with, with the bullies in the school, but she would go back and forth. Like everybody would try to fit in with these girls. And I really don't know why. And it was always like that one little group. I'm sure you guys probably had that one little group in your school too. But one time Braces was mad at me and I didn't even know why you guys. Like I didn't even know why she was mad at me. But I do know that like Braces used to talk a lot behind my back. Like a lot of people would tell me all the time like that she said this, that she said that. And I honestly like, I was this tiny little thing you guys. Like li this little like emo chick. <laughs> So I didn't really have much friends, right? Uh, she made up this story saying that she had like a younger sibling or something and that her younger sibling died and like she was crying in school, making all of us feel bad, well specifically me because I was like her close friend. So she was telling me that stuff that, that her little like sibling died. I think she said little brother. I don't know what the case was, but it wasn't true you guys. Like, I messaged her older sister, which probably was like in high school, just to like confirm because I was like, this is like weird, you know, like it, it does something feels off. So her older sister told me that they don't have another like sibling and, and or anything. So I was like, what the heck? But anyways, yeah, she used to lie a lot. And, and, and during this time when we got into the fight, she was mad at me for no reason. And I couldn't get it out of her. Like I, I couldn't understand why she was upset with me. I didn't do anything to her. So one time we were going to class, right? We were going to our classroom and you guys keep in mind I'm not the fighting type like I wasn't the fighting type I, I would never like you know hurt a bug <laughs> anyone anyone so this girl I see her oh, I'm standing in line right I'm standing in line and I see her like across like in front and I see her with that group of girls that used to like you know bully people around all the time the popular girls so this girl standing over there with them and I'm like something doesn't feel right like you know they're gonna do something to me or I don't know I, I thought that I was probably gonna get my ass kicked by one of them but I just like I saw her there and I'm like what the heck 
it's just weird. So I saw her standing there with them and I'm like, that looks a little suspect, you know? <laughs> I kind of panicked a little bit, like I was like, what's going on? So you know, you know when the adrenaline kicks in and you know something's about to go down, you just don't know why, you're just freaking out because you don't know what's gonna go down and you know, you know the drill. <laughs> mm. This girl comes up to me <clears throat> after like standing there for a while with them. She comes up to me and she's like, I don't remember her exact words, but I know that she said something about me that she heard I was talking shit or I don't know what the case was. And I was just like, what the heck? Like in my head, I was like, when did this happen? You know, I thought we were cool. So she starts saying like, oh, I heard you said this, this and that about me, blah, 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 right? And I just look at her like she's crazy because I'm like, girl, no, why would I be talking about you? You know, like we hang out. Anyways, point is this girl, you guys, like the audacity. <laughs> she smacks me. Yeah, it's like she smacks me across like my head on this side because she was like right in front of me and the ramp to get into the class was like this. And we got in through this side and she went back down this way. So she smacked me on this side on my head. And I'm like, what? Like, I just froze, and you know when everybody, when there's gonna be a fight, everybody knows before the people that are gonna fight know that they're gonna fight. <laughs> like, everybody was just waiting for it, and I was just like, when she hit me, you guys, like, I felt my soul leave my body. Like, I never, ever, 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 ever had gotten that mad like that moment right there because it was my first fight. This girl tries to be slick and smacks me across my head and she walks off that way like if she's gonna get out of the ramp, like go down. And I'm like, I look over to my cousin on my right because my cousin had this, the same class with me and he looks at me like, dude, like he just stares at me like, what are you gonna do, you know? And I was like, nope. I got so mad, you guys. Like I had my binder, we used to carry binders back in the day. I had my binder on my hand right here. I was carrying my binder, my books. I was carrying, you know, all my shit, like my little baggie with my pencils and whatever. You guys, like when I tell you that I got so mad that I grabbed my shit and I just banged it on the floor, like I threw it and I went after this girl, braces, and I grab her hair and I drop her straight to the, like to the floor. Like dropped her straight to the floor. And don't, don't come at me. Don't come, don't come for me just because I grabbed her behind her back. No, like this bitch hit me first. <laughs> so I grabbed her hair and I dropped her straight to the freaking floor and I'm like, what the hell? You know, so like I just start hitting her. Like that was my first instinct. Like I had never gotten in a fight, but I guess when it happens, like you just know what to do. Like I just started going off, started freaking hitting her, all this crazy stuff and everybody's like, ooh, whatever, you know, like big old crowd starts coming our way. And I was like, oh my God, in my head, like I was just so mad, like out of control. So that's happening, and then the teachers come, everybody everybody starts trying to separate us, and and oh my god, you guys, this is like the funniest part about this, like, the security guard, the security guard grabs us like we're rag dolls, like, literally grabs us by our backpacks, and starts like taking us towards like the office area. Like, literally, she's like dragging us by the backpacks, and, and we're crying. I was scared I was gonna get in trouble. That's why I was crying and because I was mad. This girl, Braces, was crying because supposedly that I was her best friend and she didn't want to hit me, she didn't want to do that, um, but she did it and blah 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 blah. You know, nobody can really make you do things, but I get, I get the pressure, you know, from bullies. I guess they like pressured her into doing that to me, but still, like, what the heck? Like, you don't do that to your best friend, homegirl. Um, if you're watching <laughs> anyways and the security guard took us over to like this area she took us over to like this this area where like everybody used to hang out during lunch and break and this teacher that I had she was like so cool like she was st she was passing by and she saw that like I was crying and um I wasn't a bad student you guys like I wasn't like like one of those troublemakers or anything I was very quiet so this this teacher comes up to like the security guard and to me and she's like hey like what happened like what happened where are you taking her and then um that teacher was like oh like 
uh, I guess it's uh, <laughs> I can speak English as well. <laughs> so this teacher tells the security guard, guard like I'll take care of it, like I'll talk to her and then I'll take her to the office. So I went with the teacher and I'm over here bawling my eyes out because I'm mad and because I couldn't believe my best friend did that to me. And obviously because it was my first fight, you guys, I was like, what happened? You know, it happened so fast. So the teacher is just talking to me and she's just like, oh, like, are you okay? What happened? Tell me how it happened. I explained the story to her and I told her like I had no, I was, I was telling her I was crying because I was just scared that I was going to like get in trouble like from my mom. Because I know that my mom would have like, you know, kicked my butt if she knew that I was like getting in fights. Or at least I thought, I thought she would kick my butt. Uh, because because I was never the fighting type, so I had never gotten in a fight, so I didn't know what to expect from my mother. The teacher was like, we are not going to tell your parents because it was a whole, you know, it was like a misunderstanding from Braces' part, you know. I was going to say Braces' face. <laughs> so the teacher said, we're not going to do anything. We're not going to do anything. We're not going to call your parents because Braces is sorry and... And we figured out like what happened and what caused for her to do that to you and all this stuff, right? So we agreed, everything's fine, we're good, we're friends again, blah, 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 blah. And, and after that happened, I, I think she got beat up too. Yeah, she did get beat up. She got beat up by one of like these other girls. She wasn't a bully or anything, but everybody knew that she knew how to fight. So she got beat up a couple like days or months after that. No, yeah, it was a couple, it was a couple days. I, it felt like forever, but it, I know it was a couple of days. So this girl went up to her and like literally socked her right in the head, like behind her back. And I was like, oh my God. I saw it coming too because I tried warning her, like believe it or not, like I, was, I wasn't I was a bad friend. Like I saw from like far away that this little chick was going towards her. Like I saw her walking towards her. And I started walking so fast down the patio, like you guys, like as fast as my feet could take me. Like I was this tiny little thing. So you can imagine those freaking little steps that I was taking to get there. <laughs> so right before I got there, I was like, hey, I was like, braces, like her name. And she looks at me, but she does not look at who's behind her. Like I, I try to warn her. But before I even got to like telling her, hey, like look back, you know, this other tiny person hit her right on her head, like so hard. And I just see her like crying and, and I took her like straight to the office because I was like, oh my God, like that really just happened. I took her to the office, we explained what had happened and all that stuff, but it was just crazy. It was like it was like a love and hate friendship with me and her, I guess. It was just weird, but but yeah, like that was that was my first fight with this girl. And that wasn't even the only fight that we had, you guys. After that, these um bullies bullies <laughs> these bullies would make us fight. They would make us fight in the field, like during PE, like physical education. During PE, they would like play fight or do body shots or something. And they would try to make us fight. And one time I was so mad because we were like fighting, like me and her, like body shots, playing around. And I was hitting her stomach like as hard as I thought I was hitting. And she was just laughing. So I just got so mad. You guys, crazy. It's just crazy. I have so many of these little stories, you guys. Like, also, one of these girls that was, like, the bullies, one of the bullies, I guess, she pushed me into the mud. She pushed me into the mud during P.E. on our way back inside because it was raining. Like, yeah. It's, like, this girl pushed me into the mud, like, behind my back. Like, everybody was walking in the back. I don't know if somebody dared her. I don't know what the case was, but she, like, pushed me, and I fell into the mud, and it was just, like, all my P.E. clothes was muddy. It was, it was bad. And yeah, you guys, that's a whole other story. But I have so many of these. And if you guys enjoy these type of like videos, comment down below. And I will make more. So that was pretty much my big fight for the first time. Crazy, you guys. And it had to be a friend too. Like. Anyways, I'm not going to finish my makeup here because I'm going to do this look for my Instagram mini tutorials. So if you guys are real ones, comment down below if you guys watch this video up until now. Comment braces so we can laugh about the situation. <laughs> and also follow me on Instagram so you guys can see the finished result. 
on this eye of course and the rest <laughs> so you guys can see the mini tutorial follow me on instagram and yeah you guys this is the end of this video and this get ready with me slash story time if you guys like these type of videos and enjoy them let me know in the comments i will make more i have so many other like stories for you guys my life is is crazy <laughs> it's full of adventures so yeah, you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe comment below and i'll see you guys next time Bye.